good morning students today we are going to see about innovations in banking technologies electronic banking electronic banking refers to banking where transactions are carried out through electronic medium now we are going to see about the components of electronic banking electronic banking has many names like web based banking e banking virtual banking or web banking and online banking it is just the utilization of a telecommunication network and electronic network for conveying different financial services and products through e banking a client can acquire is record and manage numerous exchanges utilizing a cell phone or personal computer e banking provides 24 hours access to cash through an automated teller machine or savings account of a bank what are services offered in e banking it is a round the clock banking that is 24 hours banking direct deposit phone bills PC banking, point of sale transfers, electronic check conversion. These are some of the drawbacks of e-banking. Security issues, lack of contact between banker and customer, complex transactions and technological issues. What do you mean by internet banking? Those banking transactions that takes place in a virtual ambience on the website of banking company or financial institution is termed as internet banking. The essence of internet banking lies in online access by customers of banking and financial services. We can send request for a checkbook from the convenience of home. We can view our account statement online, updation of foreign exchange currency rates, Intimation online about stop payment, notification of lost or stolen ATM card. Telephone banking. Telephone banking is a service feature offered by many banking institutions. The process involves using the keypad on a touch tone telephone to perform a variety of banking functions. Along with traditional banks, phone banking is also utilized extensively by online banking institutions including banks that conduct business primarily with the use of telephone technology. What are the features of telephone banking? It is a multilingual facility which supports multiple languages. It's user friendly, immediate call transfer to the branch representative, real time services. These are some of the drawbacks of uh, telephone banking. Work disturbance, too mechanical, customer reluctance, and scam callers. Mobile banking. Mobile banking is a term which gives service provided by a bank or other financial institution that allows its customers to conduct financial transaction remotely using a mobile device such as smartphone or tablet. Unlike the related internet banking, it uses software usually called an app provided by the financial institution for this purpose exclusively. Types of mobile banking services Mobile banking over application, mobile banking over SMS, mobile banking over WAP. Features Bank account management, advanced security and fraud alerts, QR code payments, peer-to-peer -peer payments, ATM locators ATM is called as automated teller machine an automated teller machine is a specialized computer that allows you to complete bank transaction without the need of to see a bank representative ATM cards have a magnetic stripes which contain card number and other security information pin or personal identification number is a confidential security code which an ATM card user inputs into ATM machine 
to carry out a transaction in mono function devices only one type of mechanism for financial transaction is present such as cash dispensing and statement printing multi function device incorporate multiple mechanism to perform multiple levels of service such as accepting deposits dispensing cash printing statements etc types of atm lobby atm through the wall atm what are the futures of atm anywhere banking anything banking safety user interface and visual messages the slide shows how a bank is going to charge on the transactions electronic money electronic money or otherwise called as e money is broadly defined as an electronic store of monetary value on a technical device that may be widely used for making payments to entities other than e money issuer the device as prepared bearer instrument which does not necessarily involve bank account in transactions categories of e money electronic purse and digital cash advantages of electronic money faster and more efficient transaction can be done through e money loyalty and frequent user plans less need to carry currency in pocket automatic personal financial record keeping access to electronic commerce disadvantages of e money the risk of uh, failing cards and their charged value could alarm some consumers concerns over privacy and the possibility of identify theft or some of the major drawbacks of e money systems for the operators the cost of installing the technology may be substantial eft otherwise called electronic fund transfer which was introduced in 1990 by the reserve bank of india rbi eft is the transfer of funds via electronic channels eft allows intra bank and inter bank transfers in a time saving and cost effective manner today eft has been replaced by more efficient payment system the national electronic fund transfer widely known as neft benefits of e fund transfer it is efficient it is considered as a efficient mode to transfer it's a innovative product and less workload what are steps involved in electronic fund transfer you have to make an application you have to prepare the data data transmission will be done debiting remitting banks crediting receiving banks crediting beneficiary task card service branch and task cards beneficiary branch then we are moving into the next part called electronic clearing services the electronic clearing services ecs scheme provides an alternate method of efficient bulk payment transaction like periodic that is monthly quarterly hourly or yearly payments of interest salary pension commission dividend refund of banks companies corporations and government department the electronic clearing system uh, scheme is in operation at 15 centers where reserve bank of india manages clearing houses 21 centers where sbi is managing is ecs on behalf of rbi and 29 other centers where pnb and other banks are managing ecs on behalf of rbi the electronic clearing service is being offered in the department of post in connection with the payment of monthly interest under monthly income scheme mis types of ecs ecs debit ecs debit is used for raising debits to a number of accounts of consumers or account holders for crediting particular institution crediting a particular institution limit 1 lakh 
operating cycle mandate preparation of data action by clearing house debiting bank ecs credit ecs credit is used for affording credit to a large number of beneficiaries by raising a single debit to an account such a dividend interest is salary payment limit 5 lakhs operating cycle preparation of payments data presenting payments data processing of clearing house and service branches iftp that is interbank fund transfer is a facility that allows you to transfer money from your account to an account in another bank subject to the beneficiary bank participating in the rbi national electronic fund transfer rbi neft scheme this facility is available currently to the resident indians customers only you needed to log in using your net banking login id and password imps that is uh, immediate payment service immediate payment service is an instant money transfer services facilitated by npci that is national payment corporation of india the full form of imps is immediate payment service which allows people to send and receive funds from savings account in real time the service facilitates in interbank transaction through mobile transactions and internet banking the major reason behind using imps is that it is available 24/7 and 365 days which makes it highly flexible and dependable the maximum number of transfer limit of funds to imps is 5 lakh however it may vary from bank to bank while the minimum limit usually is rupees 1 however the limit may vary from bank to bank it was launched in, at the end of the year 2010 by the rbi the slide shows the imps charges made by different banks this is a transaction flow how a imps tra transaction flow happens remitter remitting bank npci is trying to switching over beneficiary bank and beneficiary